Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and there's just been a bunch of news circling lately. Jailbreak news, fake jailbreaks, real jailbreaks, security exploits, bugs, betas, a bunch of things. But in this video, I'm basically going to talk about the jailbreaking community and my thoughts on what's going on right now. First off, I just want to say, yes, iOS 11.2.1. IS 11.1.2 most of the iOS 11 firmware has been jailbroken now guys but can you get these jailbreaks can normal people get these jailbreaks no but it has been out for three two days now for iOS 11.2.1 the Alibaba security developer team they have done it they've used this tool called Pandora they have claimed to jailbreak iOS 11.2.1 and I've known Alibaba for a good while now. They have been around for a good amount of time. They have seemed to be very, very, very loyal to its overall community. And the stuff they're pushing out always seems realistic. So hopefully this isn't something for clicks and it's a fraud. But to me, guys, everything looks legit. And they've quote unquote said this is a perfect jailbreak. And it's also a full tethered jailbreak. It's not semi tethered So that means when your phone restarts, you will still have that jailbreak. Personally, I love the semi tethered jailbreak because sometimes I could just turn off my phone and, for example, I'm going to Apple, I could hide everything, they won't know it's jailbroken. But if it's tethered, it would always be jailbroken if it's on or off. But that's not a big deal to me. Also, guys, in their blog post, the researchers said that they were originally able to jailbreak iOS 11.1 and that same jailbreak continued to work with iOS 11.2.1, which was released earlier this week, if you guys remember. And also, the head of Alibaba security team Pandora Labs he's called um Sung Yang the, he said the jailbreak was different from other jailbreaks I'm not sure what that means but he was just basically saying this jailbreak is real and they also have a picture of it on their iPhone 10 beside the Pandora app which basically jailbroke the iPhone 10 I'll have everything on screen for you guys to see right now and also the blog post they also posted a lot of evidence to show that this jailbreak was real the incident report i'll bring it up on screen right now so on this incident report on screen guys it indicates that the program they ran got a pc which is a program counter alignment exception from the kernel so you could see at the top and everything you could see iphone os 11.2 and all the bill numbers and the strings and everything like that it's an unaligned exception and it may occur because some of the other step resulted in corrupted memory and it's like just a corrupted pointer for instance it could be due to like a buffer overflow or a race condition in the code the news come from the following announcement from the google project zero researcher ian bear so basically they use ian bear's exploit to come up with this new jailbreak and it's just crazy madness right now everyone's talking about it and i really read about it i read a lot about it so i could understand everything what's going on before i made this video so to be completely honest with you guys i think that this jailbreak would be out soon I'm really happy on the efforts that everyone is pushing out now and it seems as if jailbreaking isn't dead at the moment. It, I see some life breathing into the community, which is great. Another great thing that just dropped, guys, is iFile. Not iFile, but iFile's newer brother, his bigger brother, it's called Falza. Now, this is basically a root access to your iPhone 10. It's crazy because normally this is what I would jailbreak my phone for. So with files that you can basically go into the root settings. You could change the this the password text on the top. You could change the boot down text. You could change the font size. You could change the font. You could change around the emojis. Change it to an Android emoji. Plug something in. It's basically a, a root access to your iPhone. And that's what Apple doesn't give you, but with this app, it, it gives you root access to your iPhone, which is crazy, guys. You could crack games, change your iPhone bill number, change your app name, app folders. It's just crazy how everything seems to be 
getting more secure by Apple. But at the end of the day, people are still breaching in and changing up a lot of things. So iFile was not iFile. I keep saying iFile because iFile was the OG. Um, iFile was the OG data manager until we got Filezer. Basically, iFile was the same thing as Filezer, but iFile got outdated and the developer didn't really let it work with 64-bit devices. It still works on 32-bit devices, but it got outdated with the UI. And now Filezer is a new thing. It works perfectly fine on my iPhone 10, And it was pretty easy to install because Tweetbox themselves went ahead and they hosted this on their website. So I'll leave the links down below if you want to check it out. Bear in mind, guys, you might f*** up your devices. So please be sure that you know what you're doing with this data manager it's really really complex and robust so if you're not familiar with jailbreaking stuff and root access stuff if you have a windows pc you might know about root access if you have an android phone you might know about that root access life but with iphones it's kind of different because if you f these files you might f up your iphone and i don't want you guys to be blaming me about that so please bear in mind that this is basically for people with a little bit of experience in order to do more stuff with their iPhones but yeah that's basically the update for you guys um if you want the link for um Filza, I'll have everything down below you basically download the Tweetbox app get Filza from the Tweetbox website and then allow it trust it and everything go into your profile device management trust it and then it will install onto your device but yes guys that's basically the update for this video my thoughts on the jailbreak and also telling you guys about the new data managing files so if you enjoyed the video and you're looking forward to that new ios 11 jailbreak to drop let me know by smashing that like button down below in the comment section thank you guys for 17,000 subscribers we're on the way to 18k we're almost at 20k which is crazy i might hit 20k by new year's which would be awesome that's my goal so if you guys want to help me share the video if you're not subscribed yet please be sure to subscribe and always guys more videos rolling out next week i just did one of my tests online and i passed which is woo! i feel so good so i could start making videos again guys so yeah as always love peace and tweaks signing out see you next time